Hello. Um, I want to speak quickly about an employment related matter, settlement agreements. There seem to be a few misunderstandings or perhaps um, marketing around this which needs some explanation for employers and employees. A settlement agreement is a document which records the kissing goodbye to all future claims by the employee against the employer and it's normally done in exchange for some cash. Uh, so the agreement itself is not for the employee's benefit and the employer pays for the employee to go away and get advice on it. The person who gives the employee advice then certifies that the employee has understood the content and the consequences of the settlement agreement. That means that the employer is safe and secure in the knowledge that the employee having kissed goodbye to all the complaints against it can just pay and get on with its business and the employee has no cause of action against the employer anymore. So the employer rather likes this idea and pays for the advice, the independent legal advice that the employee goes away and gets. So when you see um, practitioners saying, we offer fixed fee advice on settlement agreements for employees, yeah, it's fixed always and paid by the employer. Um, the amount which is paid can be negotiable. The invoice will be made out to the employee but payable by the employer. That's standard. Now the difference between the independent legal advice on the contents and consequences of the settlement agreement, just the way it's written and what you're compromising and saying goodbye to, that's one thing. If you want additional advice on how commercial it is, or if you've got um, any potential argument to increase the amount included in the settlement offer, that's different. Um, and then you're on to the merits of taking any such argument forward. Say, for example, if you've been discriminated against or um, there's some other naughty thing that the employer is trying to get away with and cover up um, underneath settlement agreement, um, that will be additional. Your employer will not pay to be forced to pay you more. Okay? So one client... One piece of work is the first fixed fee bit. Second piece of work, if you want it, is to see if you can argue for more. And that's the difference. Um, okay, so when you see things like fixed fees and the rest of it, just make sure you know what you are getting into and what you won't get for that fixed fee.